Right, the first thing we're going to do um, uh, this morning, we're going to paint a, a very, very expressive um, head, a portrait. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is, a, is actually to actually um, kill all this um, white of the canvas here because it's very um, frightening for a lot of um, artists. So the first thing we'll do is just get some colour. We've just got three basic primaries here. So as you can see straight away, we're getting some lovely colours in here. Now as you'll notice we're using quite a big brush as we've chatted about. This is almost like painting on, on sandpaper. So if you use a very, very good um, brush, you'll, you'll soon end up with no, um, or very few bristles on it. So very quickly we, we're killing all the whites here. I feel if you start off with a, a drawing that's too accurate, you, you achieve a likeness far too early and then you don't really know where to go from there. So with this, we're not going to achieve a likeness very early. Uh, so it'll be a lot more expressive. So if this type of work, I expect to fail. Then if you actually get anything out of it, any pluses, that's a bonus. Now there's a beautiful um, painting here. You could almost hang this up. Beautiful. Now the, the beauty of acrylic, of course, as you all know, it dries very quickly. Uh, a lot of people don't like that property, but here we're using it to our, our advantage. Right, we're, we're getting all these lovely colours on here, letting for, uh, allowing for a little bit of um, drying time, otherwise you will just end up with, with mud. You're right, I normally wear um, glasses when I'm painting um, things like this, but so that I don't get bogged down in um, detail, I'm working without my glasses, so there are parts of this which are slightly blurred. Uh, so that allows me to, to paint without any um, worry of um, getting the exact uh, little detail which are very, very um, unimportant at, at this stage here. Right, can you see I'm introducing a little bit of a, a cool blue here, a bit of Prussian blue mixed with the, um, the yellow ochre which has given us quite a nice sub, uh, subdued green here uh, working very well against the, um, the warmer temperatures. And out of the chaos, we'll hopefully start to pull some order. Right, what we're doing now is using the decorator's brush again, as we said before. We haven't used any good brushes yet. Um, now this, we're using quite a lot of, of dry brush. This is called scumbling. Now, if you let the, the first coat dry, as I have done, it means you can use a dry brush and you're, you're thinning your paint by spreading it as opposed to putting water into it. And this is called scumbling and it's a lovely um, technique here. I'm well aware that we're going to have a nice red ear there, possibly later on. So I'm putting a greeny, greeny blue in there. Right, so we're starting to get some tones in here. Yeah, starting to get some, some shape, it's working okay. Bit of green in there. I very often when I'm doing this type of work as well, I'll actually take some colour, have a rough idea where I'm going to go, and don't look at the painting. Look away. That then gives you a few accidental marks. Sometimes you ruin your painting, but sometimes it adds a bit of, a bit of excitement to it. You put a colour on or a tone that you wouldn't normally do. So by looking away from the painting and putting marks on, that can be quite exciting as well. Yeah, so we've got this lovely shape. Now it's all about balance. Now this particular um, chap I met in the pub, uh, we've got a couple of snaps of him, and I actually, when I took the photograph, I lowered myself down, so I'm looking up. That gives me a lot more stature. So we've got, I'm well aware that this area here will be a lot shorter than what that area is, because generally, as you all know, the eyes, are in the middle of the head. That's if you're looking directly at the head. But as soon as you go either higher than the, the head, or in this instance lower, it's giving you a bigger expanse here than you have here. If you had lots of lands here, for instance, like that, that area here will not sink because your eyes draw to that point. So what you've got to do is, is make sure that you put the highlights where you want them. 
see what we can do. There's a lovely little highlight about there. Can you see how you've got all this paint here? And that one little dot has so much power. Yeah, that's good. And I might just tickle the um, this one up. It's a smaller mark, but a little bit more powerful. Standing well back. Right. Square brush. Turn it round to the edge. So you've got a thin brush and a, and a broad brush in one. Losing the edge while it's still wet. Pushing it that way. This is like your dress. This is, these are your, the jewellery. Very often you, the dress won't look very nice until you've got your accessories. 